we are talking here about the process of theory. What we can define peer reviewing, it is evaluation of scientific, academic, professional works by others who are working in the same field. Those people are called peer reviewers or journal reviewers. الناس اللي بتقيم شغلنا في المجلات وعشان نبقى عارفين برضك الناس دي usually working for free they are not taking money from the reviewing process how this process will be going on first you are submitting your work your article your manuscript okay so the first eye will be the editor. He will be the one to, who judge. Is it going with the scope, the aim? Is it written properly? Okay. Then he will give it this uh, manuscript or article to editor. If it is not, it will be rejected at that point. If أول واحد بيشوف شغلنا هو الناشر الرئيسي. هو ده اللي بيقول لا تروح لريفيور يبقى ات وورث تستاهل او لا دي ما تروحش وتبقى ريجيكتد منه طيب افتر ذن ذا ريفيور ريفيور ويل كومنتينج بيكوز يو ار سبيشالست ان ذات فيلد اف ات از جود ات ويل بي اكسبتد اذروايز ات مي بي نيد فيريفيكيشن اي نيد وات وي كول نوت فيريفيكيشن نيد كلاريفيكيشن نيد uh, improvement okay so it will turn back to you for revision and improvement or it will be rejected totally okay so we have to suspect rejection in two steps first by the editor second by the reviewer so why we do this peer review هل عشان نضايق الناس؟ هل عشان نضايق الأوثرز؟ Of course not. We are making this to making a proper selection of the research. To put the proper research in attention. لو في شغل كويس يبقى احنا هنخليه يخرج في أحسن صورة أو هو دي الصورة الكويسة اه يبقى ده يستحق إن الناس تقراه. Secondly, it gives the author feedback to improve the quality of his research. We can consider it as it is a school that uh, we have an advice from an older people or uh, uh, from a teacher. حد بيديك نصيحة في الشغل ازاي تحسنه وازاي يبقى أحسن. So the peer review system will judge the validity of the work, the significance, the originality. Okay. Not judging who is doing this. المفروض طبعا ما بيحكمش مين اللي عامل ولا جاي من أنه بلد لكن بيحكم على قيمة الشغل نفسه. Okay, who is responsible for identifying appropriate peer review? مين اللي بيبقى مسؤول؟ Usually it is the editor. The editor he is the one who are selecting the peer reviewers. It is it will be either one of his board or it will be one of from his database or it can be a suggested person by the author. يعني ممكن حضرتك تقترح على الناشر اسماء محدده لو هو طلب منك ذلك ممكن ياخدهم وممكن ما ياخدهمش بس في الحاله ان هو لو ما خدهمش هيبقوا ضمن الداتا بيز بتاعته how the process of peer reviewing going on. First process of peer review going before publication. This is the most common. قبل ما بننشر بيتر يبتدي يتعمل لها حاجة تقييم وده اللي احنا متعودين عليه. وفي كمان تقييم post publication. So we have two main types pre-publication peer reviewing and post publication peer reviewing. 
the pre uh, publication peer reviewing it will be either double blind peer reviewing so the reviewer and the author will be not known for each other مفيش اسامي لا انت هتعرف مين اللي عمل لك تقييم ولا انت اسمك مكتوب على البيبر in this condition if they are neither of them are known the identity of each other uh, the, the bias will be many marked but as long as we are in a small community in the same field we can suspecting who will be the the second type is single plan we reviewing here the reviewer know the identity of the author he is knowing your name but you don't know him so this can give the reviewer information on which to base his review okay but the disadvantage it may be there is bias by knowing the identity of the author i may hate you so i will give you a bad criticism okay there is another form which is called open peer review here the reviewer know the identity of the author and the author know the identity of the reviewer there is full transparency okay but still it can bias the reviews itself making it difficult to criticize a senior person for for example if you are the younger one and you have a manuscript of your professor sometimes it will be embarrassing to criticize him. another form of pre public uh, pre uh, publication peer review is public peer review here the article will be placed in an open site and the reader would give access to this uh, material and manuscripts and there will be transparency system uh, but usually few people will really comment and writing appropriate Uh, there is also what we call a cascading peer review. In this system, uh, if a journal is rejecting an article for any reason, and the author, uh, the author then submits this article to a partner journal, the reviewer report may be sent to the to that new or the second journal. This requires that the author and reviewers will agree on this يعني انا بعت بيبر لحد وهو رفضها واذا كان عنده اسباب للرفض وليها كومنتس اجي اقدمها في مجله تانية في بتبقى اوقات اكتر من مجله تبع دار مشروع واحده في الحاله دي لازم المقيم والاوثر والمؤلف يكونوا موافقين ان الكومنتس دي تتنقل للايه للمجله التانية This will reduce the burden on reviewers. طبعا زي ما قلنا بما ان reviewing is a free process you will have every day or every other day a new review. Okay, the disadvantage um, sometimes if the article has been revised after rejection then the reviewers reports may not be released. Okay, as a second major type is post publication peer review whenever you are submitting the paper accepted and published a lot of people can criticize your paper and judging this uh, data and this uh, statistics and writing a comment to the uh, editor Okay, taking timely action. When the peer reviewers of a paper has completed their job and the journal editor has decided based on their comments, the corresponding author of the paper will be contacted by the journal editor. Okay, you are ready. If you have been asked to make a minor or major revi revision, do it. Please uh, take the comments seriously and uh, correct whatever is possible to correct and if it is uh, 
there is misjudgment in these comments. Respond and verifying and clarifying why he is wrong in this comment. May bad luck haga. شوف التعليقات اللي عليه اللي ممكن تصليحه اعمله لو هو كتب تعليقه هو ما فهمش الجزئية اللي انت كتبها كويس رد وعرى وقول ترد ازاي اتعلم ترد ازاي وشوف ترد بايه وتقول له ايه ال evidence بتاعك in this reply Okay, what you have to do when you have a negative comments to your research manuscript? Yes, you. What to do? Do I attack the editor? Do I attack the reviewer? Or what to do? What is your proper response? Okay, do or repeat any relevant experiment or analysis suggested by that reviewer and add this to the debate. Revise any part of your paper that the reviewer pointed out that is unclear, incomplete, modified, okay, and track changes or some other measure. Prepare a document to respond to the reviewer's comments and questions. Present all the comments and the response so that everything will be in one document. يعني تجهز الكلام اللي هو كتبه. تحط السؤال اللي هو حاطه أو الكومنتس اللي هو حاطه وتبتدي تحط إجابتك أنت تحتيه سواء أنت كنت صلح أو إن أنت كنت عملت تغيير أو إن هو ما كانش واضح ليه الكلام فأنت وضحته. put his comment and then respond and write your answer below this and make this in one document. do it point by point. <clears throat> Clarify that you are doing a revision to your paper. If you are not agreeing with any comment, explain. Write politely throughout. When you submit the revised paper to the journal, attach the document with the response to the reviewer's comment. Okay. We have what we call a galley proof. <clears throat> Before your paper is published, you may be asked by the journal to check the proofs of your paper. This is what we call a galley proof. It is a copy of the typeset material. I told you before, be ready that your material, raw material, can be submitted to the journal. Complete your data. Don't make any bias. Uh, collection uh, be sure for your validity and check it is complete after publication once you publish your paper add it to the list of application in your google scholar or kit serve to serve the purpose uh, to be recognized in the academic domain <coughs> just a peer review tips Learn how to peer review in no, is no small feat. You are responsible for protecting the public from false finding and research flaws, while at the same time helping to uncover legitimate breakthrough. You are also asked to constructively critique the research of your peers, some of which has taken blood, sweat, tears, and years to be to put together. It is very, very precious tip to the peer review process. This process is very structured. It can be learned, improved over time. There is no lesson to give, but usually you are building your experience and this link to help you in the review process. Thank you.